Hello, it's Paul Hamilton here from Using Technology Better. Um, I hope you're going to find this really exciting. We're going to export a world from Minecraft into Paint 3D and look at it in mixed reality. Export as a 3D file so that we can bring into PowerPoint and do some really cool stuff with it. So let's get started. I'm going to press play and I'm actually looking for a world that's uh, in creative mode. So I'm just going to go to lessons. And I might grab a history and culture world. Why don't we go with the, um, let's go to additional lessons. Let's see what we have here. Let's go with the Chinese Tang Dynasty capital. This is looking great. Let's jump in here by John Miller. We'll create that world. So let's see if we can bring this to life. So one of the main things we need to do when we're exporting as a 3D file is we need a certain block. We need to be able to kind of manipulate the different areas. So why don't we, let's just go for a little bit of a, let's go for a little bit of a walk down this way. I'm not going to go too far. I might just go here and let's look that way. Now, what we need to do is if I press my inventory, I'm looking for a specific block and it's called a structure block. Oops, helps if you spell it right. Hey, there it is there. It's the kind of purple in color. So I'm going to select that. And um, I think that's all probably we need. So what we're going to do is we're just going to place that on the ground. So we'll just put it down there. Maybe should we put it in the little hole down there, possibly? Uh, we could do that. We'll put it there. So we'll put a little hole and we'll place it there. Now what I'm going to do is I want to um, I want to right click on that so it brings up the structure block and where it's looking for. So if I could just talk through this, we've got our X and Y. I think it goes up to about 64. So I'm going to put the biggest on each because I want to try and grab the entire world if I can. So if I go to 64. You can see here it's exactly, it's not exactly what I want. Um, it's certainly getting a lot of the world, but it's getting a lot of this up a bit as well. So that's obviously my y-axis. So let's bring that right down to 16. That's looking a lot better. I don't want to capture a whole lot of empty space. One thing that I don't have on this is I don't have underneath. I'd like to try and capture a little bit more land. So that's obviously in my y and how far I go down, let's say it's going to be minus three. And you can see there, I'm starting to get that a little bit more like a block sort of aspect to it. And you can certainly play around with your offset with your X and your Z, but I'm going to keep that. That's pretty good in regard to how I'd like it. So we use the structure block and we basically right clicked. I'm on a mouse. I right clicked on that and it went to my settings for my 3D. Now I'm going to call that something. Let's call this um, Minecraft AR because we're going to look at a mixed reality here. And I just want to go down the side of my page here as well. And you'll see here what we can include in our export. I'm just going to export that straight away if I can. So you can see here that we've got our Minecraft world over on the side here. And let's see what we can do with it. So if I open up PowerPoint, what I can actually do is we might get rid of that. And we'll get rid of that basic stuff there. We'll leave that there for now. Actually, let's go back and just put a little heading there. That might be good. Let's say Minecraft uh, 3D. So that's looking good. And all we need to do in PowerPoint is we go up to Insert. And we go up to 3D Models. And we go from File. So all we need to do then is to bring that into our world or into our PowerPoint, sorry. I'm actually going to bring that in, but not try not to alter as much as possible the actual look of it. And then you can see there, it's looking really great in regard to what I can pivot. I could put a little uh, animation there if I wanted to. I could go to my design and look for some design ideas to go with my PowerPoint. There's no designs there at the moment, but that's okay. Um, so you could kind of do a range of different things with this uh, Minecraft 3D uh, in PowerPoint. 
And so that's how it might look in PowerPoint. And you can, once again, you can apply some, um, some custom animations there if you would like to. You can have that swinging a little bit and kind of rotating around as it goes through. Um, uh, you can do a range of different things in regard to uh, the actual file itself. So if I go to uh, animations, uh, let's do something, let's add an animation here. Uh, let's do something that gives us a little bit of rotation. We don't want exit. We don't want motion path. Let's go with uh, just a little 3D swing and see how that looks. So a little swing there to show the different animation there and the different aspects of the 3D. The other thing that we can do too is we can bring into, um, if we go here and we look at uh, Paint 3D, we can actually bring that same file into Paint 3D. So let's have a look and see how that looks. So I've just gone with a new project. I'll go up to Menu. Then I shall go up to Insert. We'll look for our file. We can see our Minecraft file just up here. So we'll hit that. And let's see if we can have a little bit of a look. If you've got a tablet or or a, um, a different type of surface. If you've got a surface book, you can take off the tablet and kind of move around your house a little bit. But you can see there that I can actually click on Mixed Reality. So if I go to my Mixed Reality at the top, hopefully I can start to see amongst all of my chords, um, my Minecraft world in augmented reality, which is just basically a digital layer on top of the real world. There it is there. So if I, let's see if I can get that a little bit close. So I can drag it and put it on my bench here. I can kind of twist it a little bit. Um, I can actually click and make it a little bit bigger, but there's my beautiful world in augmented reality, as well as what we saw in PowerPoint as well, where we can kind of rotate and do some pretty cool stuff. All because I was able to export as a 3D file. Hope you found that useful. Paul Hamilton here from Using Technology Better.